these days, for every unattainable Instagram post, there's an uninspirational opposite. People going grocery shopping, going to the dentist, bathing their children. Being boring is trending. So how are brands capitalising on it? Consumer psychologist Adam Ferrier joins me now from Melbourne. Uh, Adam, good evening to you. How did being boring get cool all of a sudden? <laughs> there, um, there's a saying in consumer psychology that actual self plus brand equals ideal self. And for many years, we've used brands to plug the gap between who we are and who we want to be. Uh, as society gets more actualised, and we'll be able to get to kind of meet the, the, the standards of our ideal self and consume our way into that, we tend to relax a little bit and kind of then want brands to reflect a little bit about who we are and normalise our everydayness rather than necessarily having to aspire to be the next thing. So sometimes it's nice for brands to say, hey, you're okay just the way you are and we're going to reflect who you are rather than tell you to aspire to be something else. And so marketers seem to be kind of catching on to this trend about just reflecting society, um, reflecting who people are, reflecting a bit of reality, showing, showing scenes of people kind of shopping in supermarkets buying their veg washing their dogs all of that kind of stuff really kind of boring mundane stuff rather than having to constantly say be this or be that so did marketers catch on to this trend after picking up on it from social media is that where is that how it started i think every trend has an opposite an equal and opposite reaction so the instagram generation and the hyper kind of uh curated life of be this and be that is kind of the, the backlash to that is this whole kind of concept to, to slow food, slow TV, slow entertainment. So you see the rise of really kind of simple TV ads like uh, we've just done something recently uh, for, for a company called Sukin. Uh, um, and it's the whole ad is just 30 seconds just done in one take of showing a pack shot. But you've also see slow TV on the rise. We've got eight. I watched eight that, and I'm not hours. surprised it didn't take a second take. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, well, and, and and again, that kind of stuff in this world where there's so much movement going on all the time, just to see a really slow 30 seconds of just one thing mo and nothing moving, it just really cuts through because it's just really clear, really simple stuff. And sometimes, at the moment. Uh, when we're all living these kind of crazy lives full of content at every single possible moment to stop and go oh my god what's going to happen next what's going to happen next oh nothing oh oh gosh oh that's interesting oh, that's nice that's pleasant uh it doesn't <laughs> happen that often is that a trend that people wake up to fairly quickly though um i don't know i think i think what's happening is anxiety i think if you speak to the australian psychological society uh, rates of anxiety are, are kind of escalating at the moment in society. There's lots and lots more time pressure and our lives are becoming much more deconstructed, much less planning. It's all autonomous. It's all of the moment. It's all now and immediate. So if you think about that as a macro trend, then kind of if brands can help people slow down, stop, reflect a little bit, be part of this whole kind of wellness movement, then I think consumers might start to feel closer to the brands that start to do this. Are there some other examples um, other than the second ad where we can sort of look at of it working out in practice? Yeah, it, like in Western Australia, the, the most effective ad across all advertising uh, last year was an ad by the West Australian uh, Transport Commission, uh, which was called Slow Down. And the whole ad was about slowing down on the roads, slowing down and enjoying the drive. They had music to play in the car that was all about slowing down and just kind of listening, listening to the music and being really soft and gentle. You start to see ads now starting to be shot in slow-mo using slow-mo uh, cameras just to try to get people engaged with the story and slow down a little bit to take in the whole narrative. So, um, you know, it, it's not macro, it's not mass. There's still lots of shouty ads. As soon as all the ads become slow, then the slow ads aren't going to stand out anymore. So, it, you know, it's part of... It, it, will have a half, it will have a shelf life. Yeah, that, that is the truth. Is it? It, it will reach a sort of a natural point where then things will speed up again. And, uh, but certainly it's working in television, isn't it? There's a, a, a show that's been incredibly popular with just looking out a train window for about three hours. It, is it this kind of thing that we're talking about? Yeah, that's right. Um, so, you know, the, um, slow TV has taken off, but on, on the internet at the moment, there's a whole genre of 
uh, of YouTube videos which loosely are called normcore or just kind of uh, pornographying the normality of everyday life if you if you like and um, and those those videos are of people shopping for tomatoes or of people washing their dog or of what literally watching grass grow and they're just live streamed or they're uh, just slow narrations of everyday life and these videos have you know, hundreds of thousands millions of views and it's a whole kind of sub genre if you like of um, of online digital entertainment well, I guess it takes all types and it's a uh, marketer's job just to tap into uh, what the current zeitgeist is really, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that's right. And if you're 100% right. And if you can be part of popular culture and kind of ride these trends or help kind of create them, then reward brands also reward you just for kind of instinctively knowing what's in and what's not. And it feels like, so that's, that's kind of across the masses, always stay on trend with whatever's popular in culture. But what's, I think what the kind of the beauty of this trend is, is that people need to stop and slow down and just uh, chill. And so brands or businesses that can help people do this, potentially there's, there's money to be made in slowing down. Well, let's hope so. And let's enjoy the breather before it all speeds up again. Uh, Adam Ferrier, <laughs> thanks so much for your time tonight. Cheers. Yeah, I've seen the uh, train window footage and it is mesmerising. I had no idea why I was just sitting there watching it for so long. Now I do, thanks to Adam Ferrier and Sophie Hull.